Well, Labor Day is also typically a busy time in the Lake Tahoe area, but because of the Caldor fire, the region will be missing out on precious tourism dollars. Fox's Giovanni Ligi is live now in Placerville with that story. While well, Heather, the Calder fire continues growing closer to South Lake Tahoe, a major popular tourist destination for people across the country. However, nobody will be there this weekend. The city is closed and officials say they are expecting to lose millions of tourism dollars this weekend. Now you can see the plumes of smoke rising into the sky over the city just outside of South Lake Tahoe tonight. The threat of fire activity continues with the possibility of spot fires. Now on Labor a weekend the city would normally have over 100,000 people. Now it's a ghost town filled with first responders who are trying to prevent the fire from reaching homes and businesses. In some places the fire is less than a half a mile away from homes. Officials say the economic impact of this fire could be massive. The U.S. Forest Service reports losses could reach up to $1 million each day the city is closed. Labor Day weekend is really the last big holiday of our summer season that our local businesses and local workers really rely on that visitation to the area in order to, um, you know, survive and pay rent and make it through the shoulder season before winter starts. Now, California fire officials say they are cautiously optimistic they can control this fire. However, once again, that threat remains as spot fires continue to pop up around the city. We are live here in Placerville, California. Back to you. All right, Giovanni, such a such an economic loss for that area. But obviously right now the firefight mm -hmm. is the main concern. Thank you so much. We'll